What's going on guys? It's Expo Jesse. Today we're going to go through a very brief dissection of hashtag the strat created by Rob Smith and how I use it in my day trading. So like I said, the, the strat that I use is called hashtag the strat. It is created by Rob Smith. I do not claim to know, or sorry, to, to claim it at all. I did not create it. I am just a uh, avid user and honestly it is the strategy that changed my trading for the better. Um, I've used pretty much every strategy that you can imagine and uh, the strat definitely encompasses all of the best parts of every strategy I've ever used. So very briefly I'm going to explain what the strat is. So there's tons of different resources online. Uh, I will actually link a couple guides from different uh, creators, some by Sarah Strat Sniper, some by Alex's Options, that go very in depth about the strat. The point of this video is not to go as in depth as they do. The point of this video is to show you guys how I use it and um, just the the down and dirty of what it is. Right? It's not going to explain everything like broadening formations and and stuff like that but it is going to explain what setups I'm looking for in the strat and we're actually going to go through a successful trade from today to show you how I use it. So the strat is very very fundamentally price action um, at just price action at its finest. It, it is the biggest advantage it has is that price action does not lag. All these indicators like the you know I can throw up this chart this is probably like what a lot of your guys' indicators look like. Um, these indicators are good if used correctly and knowing that they lag. So all these EMAs are going to lag, right? You, you, There's lots of money to be made while these EMAs are figuring out if they're, you know, all in confluence with each other and all the rainbows are, you know, the right colors and what have you. There's lots of money to be made before then. The price action gets you in early and make sure that you are getting an amazing entry and if you're not right immediately you're getting out quicker than with lagging indicators so that's why I'm a huge advocate of anything price bias or sorry price action bias for for any indicators so the strat and we'll first go through the indicators that I use on trading view I use strat assistant I use hashtag the strat and I use strat assistant FTFC which is full time frame continuity. I'm going to remove our volume indicator for now. This is what the full time frame continuity shows and we'll go through that after I explain the very basics of the strat. Strat assistant is going to number and color your candles. The strat high low or hashtag the strat is just going to place a line on the high and the low of certain time frames. So I have my three hour time frame in blue, my one day time frame in white one week in orange and one month in purple. So I know just by looking at this chart, I can kind of zoom out and I know that this purple line is going to be the month's low for, for crude oil. And this purple line above at 111 is going to be the month's high. Let's test it out just for fun. And that's exactly what it was. It was the previous month's high, the previous month's low. And so let me get back to where I was. So the strat is very, very, very simple, and it's very systematic. And I think that's one of the most important things for me when I was learning it, is that I needed something that uh, is systematic. You see this, you enter. You see this, you exit. And uh, if you don't see it, if the stars don't align, if you don't check off all the boxes, then you don't enter the play. Very, very simple. So here's the strat. Ready? The strat is comprised of three numbers a one a two and a three they rob calls them the scenarios other people call them bars other people call them just by whatever name they want to call them i call them bars so we'll start with the one bar or scenario one it's going to be colored in yellow with hashtag or sorry strat assistant and your the, the the fundamentals of numbering candle are that you need to find out the previous candles high or low so let me go back here. This is going to be the candle we dissect. So this next candle opens and closes. Now, the previous candle, did we break the high? Yes or no? No. We did not break the high, right? 
if you know the have you if you've watched my fundamentals of candlesticks you know that the wick does not cross the previous candle wicks high or low that is a compression candle also called an inside bar or scenario one or a one bar anything one or inside related means it was a compression candle for me you know thinking about it uh, psychologically that is going to be a candle that is just a buildup of momentum right buyers and sellers are fighting over price neither one has control there's just a lot of momentum building up a two bar is where the previous candle the high or the low gets broken it is either or so if I go back to this candle here and I place a line at my high or low if we break the high it's a two up bar if we break the low it's a two down bar so we broke the high it does not matter if it can if the candle closes back under this this previous high it just needs to break it with a wick so broke above that's a two down now you can see that this candle that I'm highlighting here is is colored red and that's because it was a red candle and it is the number is colored red and that means it is a two down bar which means that the previous candles low got taken out again thinking about it psychologically that means that the sellers or the buyers had more pressure or control in that time frame so that is the inside bar that's the two bar and now we get to the three bar three bar very very simply takes out both ends of the candle so if I'm looking at this three bar here and looking at the two bar before if I draw horizontal lines at the high and the low of the previous bar this three bar took out the previous candles low and the previous candles high and that just shows that it was a period of volatility and if you watch the videos that I'll link below you'll find that on a lower time frame it is a broadening formation um, that uh, that isn't super important to why or to how I use the strat but it is good to know so that's the one bar again one bar compression candle does not break out of the high or the low of the previous bar a two breaks out of one side or the other it does not break out both if it does break out both it is now a three bar or an outside bar an outside bar cannot be an outside bar before it is a two bar so this bar has to break either the high or the low before you can it can be a three bar so how I look at three bars is very simple if you're seeing it in real time and we dip below the previous candles low and then we shoot back up that means that that was for me when I when I think of it that shows that that was a liquidity grab to find more buyers and push price up or similarly if we wick up and then shoot down below that means it was a liquidity grab for uh, sellers so those are the three candles very important to know um, again inside bars a one two down two ups are both twos and a three bar is an outside bar so once you find out that you can google hashtag the strat info sheet as you can see here in my other uh, google bar and you'll find a sheet that looks very similar to this these are all of the strat um, actionable signals or just regular signals that Rob Smith has used and back tested. Now I have back tested and know which ones that I like to use, and I'll explain those here in a little bit. But these are going to be the all of the possibilities. I think it's important to know what is going on for for you know if you're seeing a reversal or if you're seeing a continuation to know what pattern you're in. I don't think you need to play all ten of these signals because then you're you're just throwing out money and hoping something sticks in my opinion um, find what works best for you and like I said I have back tested my strategy I will not share my results because I want you guys to back test yourself but I well, I, I actually will show what the sheet looks like to show you I actually did do it but I won't share this um, on on this video because I want you guys to back test yourself I want you to put in the work I don't want you spoon-fed and I want you guys to see that it works for yourself so here's my strategy I've back tested over 100 times 87 wins 11 losses 
average point per play is 18.12. If you look at my stop loss, most of the time it's not above 18.12. The average risk reward on this, I calculate it to be 1.3. And uh, as you can see, an 88% win rate in 101 trades. This is not skewed. This is going through. If you saw my how to backtest on trading view video, that's how I did it. And uh, very simply. So, like I said, let's go back to the sheet here. So I use only a couple of these. I use the two one twos, so both the reversals and the continuations here. Two one two, two one two. I use the three one twos, and I also sometimes will use the two two reversals. Now, how do you play it? Very important. So as you can see here, the entry signal for a two one two or the three one two is going to be the high or the low of the inside bar. So if you're going bearish, first of all, you want to have full time from continuity in your favor, which we'll go through after we get off of this sheet page. But if you're going bearish, you'll put a um, you'll enter on the low, the break of the low of that candle. If you're going bullish, you're going to play the break of the high of that candle. Same thing on the 2-2 reversal except you're, you're playing off the previous candle, so not the one bar, you're gonna play off the previous candle's two bar. Two two reversals I have found are generally uh, a little bit riskier, but they're a way to get into the play without waiting for an inside bar and all that momentum to build up. If I see an inside bar set up, it's like, you know, I struck gold. If I get into a Sorry, I just threw my water bottle at my keyboard. But if I get into a 2-2 reversal, I know it's riskier, so I'm probably going to risk a little bit less um, unless you know I'm really confident in the direction. But it's a way to get in without you know just hitting the buy button and, and entering blind. So we'll go through the 2-2-1-2s, two, two, 3-1-2s, two, two, and 2-2s two, two here. So we'll actually show a play from today that I took off of a scanner that my Discord bot showed and it should be coming up pretty soon. There it is. So I got an alert. Let me see if I can find it in my channel here. But I got an alert that I had a 212 showing, or a 2 1 setup through an alert on my uh, trading view. And so I opened up the chart, and this is what I saw. So this is the full time frame continuity on strat assistant so full time frame continuity is just telling you the color of the candle in that time frame so if i look here i'm on the five minute time frame which i don't generally want to go less than five minutes i love to play the 15. um the hourly generally you want to play the next three time frames up that's how i learned that's what other strategies teach um, three times frame time frames up. So for the five minute, that is the 15 hourly and daily. Now I also like to throw in the weekly and if I can get the monthly, I'll take it too. But generally I want to see hourly, daily and weekly all in conjunction because generally I like to play the 15 minute chart, right? So, and I actually have the screenshot here of my alert. So here's what I was alerted, right? I was alerted at CL1 exclamation, so the crude oil futures 2 1 set up on the five minute chart. Now I saw a green 15 minute, green hour, green day, green week. That's super attractive to me. Now, if month and quarter were, were also green, quarter I don't really care about, but if month were green, I'd really be, you know, throwing on that chart as quick as possible. So I got that alert at, uh, at 11.55, so right as that candle opened. Now, I was actually a little late to the party. I entered in, let me see if I can pull up my, uh, my futures channel here, but this is just gonna show you how, to, how I put it into practice, very simply. So, I entered in at 11.57 here, at uh, 93.53. Okay, so I was a little late to the party, like I said, 93.53. My stop loss was 34 points. Now, where does that put me? It actually is a little, little wider than, oh, never mind. Puts me right below the inside bar, which is perfect because 
So my entry, as I said in the this chart here, my entry was the break of the inside bar. We broke it, I entered. Now, like I said, this was this was pretty late to the party, but I saw it moving and I wanted to get in. So I got in. Now my stop loss is below the inside bar. Why? Because if we break the high of the inside bar, it's a two up. What happens if we break the low on that same candle? It is now a three bar, an outside bar. If we broke up above and then shoot down below, I'm seeing that as a buyer side liquidity, meaning we got buyers, we or sorry, we put buyers out of their positions. They had to sell to cover, and then we pushed down to where ultimately the algorithms and market makers were wanting to go. So I'm not going to sit around while we're trying to figure out if we're going up or down. So that is how I played it. Very simple. I saw the 212. I saw full time from continuity. I saw the 15 minute green, the hourly green, the daily green, the weekly green. Everything's screaming bullish to me at this point. Now, that's important. I, I have this, this bullish bias because of full time from continuity. Now what? Now I need to find a setup. 212. Perfect. Uh, uh, the, the best entry would have been right above this two bar, right? Or sorry, this inside bar's break. But, you know, I got in a little late. And it ended up working out. This play went for 4R, right? And you're looking for targets left. So the, the, the profit target is going to be a whole different video. But the for the strat, you're looking left and seeing seeing different highs and different lows. Or sorry, different highs or, or lows if, if it hasn't been covered. But I'm looking left. You know, here's my first price target. Here's my second one. Both of these candle wicks, we, we hit both of those. And then I'm looking further left, further left. Let's see, and then I'm going to look for uncovered positions, meaning they didn't get, price didn't move above it. That would be my ultimate price target, right? So, bang, bang, bang. We push up, and look where we rejected. It's almost like it works. And that is a 4R played. And, it, and it's very simple. You see the 212 setup. You see, we had a two bar, we had an inside bar, we built momentum. Then we, when we finally got enough momentum, we pushed up, and I'm in there for that push up. And then I'm looking left for price targets, right? Now let's see if we can kind of cherry pick a 212, or sorry, a 2-2 reversal. So if I look down here, this is going to be a 2-2 reversal. So if I'm trying to get in, I don't have the hourly confluence, so I'm likely not going to get in. Let's go to the 15 minute. Here's a two down bar. And then there's a two up bar. So there's another way to play it, right? If you're just, if you think you missed the move, but you're still bullish, the 2-2 two -two reversal is the best way to get in. So entry above the break of the inside bar and uh, stop loss below that, or sorry, not the inside bar, the two bar, and then stop loss below that two bar. Again, why? If we break above and make a two up, I'm in the play. Now, if we break below, now that's a three bar. We don't have enough strength to stay above. Um, for me, I always wait for candle closes before I close my position because of just all the candle wicks. So for example, if you're in a long position here, Right. If you got in long, oops, that's a Fibonacci retracement. But if you got in long here, and your stop loss was just right here at this point, you got wicked out, and and that's just a liquidity grab, which we'll get into with smart money concepts. But but as a fundamental, I don't use limits for my stop losses. I use mental stop losses, and you have to be more disciplined with it. But back to the two two reversal. So I entered in the two two reversal. And then I have full time from continuity on my side because I see the hourly screen, I see the daily screen and the weekly screen. Remember the next three time frames up. And then obviously this play is at uh, already at one R, so you're trimming, or or I would be trimming and managing my position as we go. So those are uh, that's how I play the strap. And if you saw my video on Fibonacci retracement, that's how I do fibs. And then now all that's left is regular price action and smart money concepts. So stay tuned for those videos. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Send me a Discord DM or a Twitter DM. I'd be happy to help out anybody. Um, 
and yeah, just want everybody to to know what I know. I don't know everything, but I know enough to make money. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, yeah.